Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. Today we're going to continue to work our way through the Psalms. It's really kind of amazing that we're approaching the end of the Psalms. But today we're going to look at Psalm 138. Follow along with me in your copy of God's Word as I read Psalm 138. A Psalm of David. I will give you thanks with all my heart. I will sing praises to you before the gods. I will bow down towards your holy temple. I will give tank thanks to your name for your loving kindness in your truth. For you have magnified your word according to all your name. On the day I called, you answered me. You made me bold with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth will give thanks to you, O Lord, when they have heard the words of your mouth. And they will sing of the ways of the Lord. For great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord is exalted, he has yet he has regard for the lowly, but the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch forth your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand will save me. The Lord will accomplish what concerns me. Your loving kindness, O Lord, is everlasting. Do not forsake the works of your hands. In this incredible psalm, we see a yet another psalm of thanksgiving. We have seen so many times throughout the psalms, the psalmist giving thanks to the Lord, and particularly David giving thanks to the Lord. It's really a great example to us that we should never tire of giving thanks to the Lord. And I want you to notice right at the outset that this psalm of thanksgiving is not a half-hearted measure. This is a, a praise, a thanksgiving offered with the whole being. He says, I will give you thanks with all my heart. He's saying, with all that I am, I give you thanks. And that too is how our thanksgiving should be. I want to highlight for you four things in here that I believe he gives thanks to the Lord for. And the first is going to be kind of obvious, may even, be, may even be redundant to us at this point, but he gives thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness. What an amazing, repetitive thing we see in the Psalms this reminder that we should always be giving thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness, for his faithful love to us. Next, he gives thanks to the Lord for his providence. He answered as soon as he called. As soon as he called on him, he has answered him and he has made him bold with strength. That is celebrating the providence of the Lord. Next, he gives thanks to the Lord for protection. Even though his enemies are around him, Again, another theme we have seen many times in the psalm, even though he's faced with these enemies, he gives thanks to the Lord for protection from those enemies. And then ultimately, he gives thanks to the Lord for salvation. It is the Lord who saves him from his enemies, and it is the Lord who saves all of us from our greatest enemy. So friends, our response, our prayer in response to this amazing psalm should be absolutely obvious. Give thanks. So let me encourage you today, spend some time thinking about the ways that you have seen the Lord's loving kindness, ways that you have seen his providence in your life, ways that you have seen him protect you from enemies, both real and, well, they're all real, but both physical and spiritual. And then look for ways that you have seen his salvation in your life and spend time giving thanks. Give thanks to the Lord with your whole heart today. I love you, Grace Community. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.